now going to demonstrate how to place a 1104B series fiber optic catheter. Of course, in your hospital setting, this would be a sterile procedure, but for demonstration purposes, I won't be wearing a glove or hat or mask. So there's a couple of things you're gonna need. You're going to need to have your Camino fiber optic catheter kit, and you'll also need a cranial access kit. In your 1104B series catheter kit, you'll find your fiber optic catheter. You'll also find your drill bit, the bolting system, a hex wrench, and your zeroing tool. You'll prep the patient like you normally would, and you will find the landmark where you want to access into the, in through the skull. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do, of course, is make your stab incision through the scalp, and then you're gonna to need to open up that skull. So to do that, you wanna use the drill bit that comes in the catheter kit. So the bit in the kit will make the bolt fit. So we're going to use the hex wrench, and this is simply to set the depth of your skull. Of course, this would go into your hand drill. And for demonstration purposes, I've already created the hole through the skull cap here. The next thing that you're gonna need to do is open the dura, and that can simply be done with an 18 gauge needle or a spinal needle, whatever's convenient for you in your cranial access kit. Then you'll want to place your bolt. You'll pick the bolted system up exactly as it is in your kit, and it, screw that into the skull itself. Now we want to zero the catheter. And you'll do that using your zeroing tool, just as you would any of the other fiber optic catheters. Once your catheter is zeroed, now we want to go ahead and place it. We'll take our strain relief sheath, we're going to push it back, so that we can see the depth markings on the catheter. You can see here, they're marked off in centimeters. You can see where the double line is. You want to put your fingers right above that double line. I'm gonna take the other hand and loosen the compression cap, slide the stylet out. I'll take the catheter, insert it through the bolt until my fingers touch. Then I'm gonna pull back slightly, just a couple of millimeters, tighten the compression cap. And now I want to hold above the strain relief sheath, hold this taut, snap that strain relief sheath down onto the bolt itself. Now I can see by this red dot that my catheter is appropriately placed because it's, we want that red dot to be somewhere in this window. It indicates to us that the catheter is actually in the brain where it's supposed to be, rather than outside of the parenchymal tissue. Once the catheter is placed into the bolt, we'll want to connect that to the Camino monitor, verify the waveform. So we first attach it. It's gonna say that the catheter is initializing and then it's gonna pop up with a ICP value and the waveform. And that concludes the placement of the 1104B catheter. The Camino 1104L catheter is a parenchymal bolted catheter. However, it is placed through a multi-lumen bolt and it is not interchangeable with the 1104B parenchymal catheter.